Welcome to part two of testing my new Bambi BB50D air compressor. This is the compressor for my workshop extension. In this video series I'm using it to supply compressed air to run a selection of steam engines on the bench. And in this episode I will be testing the compressor using a Stuart 5A and a Stuart S50 steam engine. Definitely both ends of the spectrum from the large to very small. In the previous video I tested this engine which is a Stuart Sirius and it has two 1 inch bore cylinders with single acting pistons. And as you can clearly see in this clip this engine ran at various speeds for 10 minutes 23 seconds. I thought before I commence this test I would have a cup of tea and by the way the tea isn't as weak as it looks it's just under very bright lighting. This Stuart 5A steam engine is not really a model, it's a full size engine but it's small, with a bore of 2 and a quarter inches and a stroke of 2 inches. It's quite interesting to me to see how long this engine will run for, because when I run it in the main workshop on my small compressor, it only runs for a couple of minutes maximum before all the air is gone. These tests are not fully clinical, for instance what I should do is run the engine all the way through at this speed and then note the numbers on the phone. But that would be very boring and does not simulate the kind of use I would give an engine running on compressed air on a workbench. I don't need to speak all the way through this video, I'm going to stop talking and just let you listen to the sound that the engine makes. I will be back shortly. I forgot to mention that I did switch off the compressor before starting the run. So the final time on the phone stopwatch will be the complete exhaustion of all of the air in the receiver. What I'm doing here is applying a load to the flywheel to make the engine work a bit harder. Obviously because the compressor isn't pumping back up, this run is going to get slower and slower. I'm quite impressed with this length of time that it's been running. The time has come for a bit of slow motion. Before the engine stopped completely I switched the compressor back on to pump it up and already you can hear that the speed is starting to increase. The total running time at a variety of different speeds, mainly fast, was 7 minutes 14 and I was pleased with this. This will be very useful to me when I'm running in a steam engine on the bench because up in the main workshop the small wisp air compressor would be running all the time and getting very hot indeed. I really am amazed how that thing has lasted 22 years. And it's still quieter than these modern variants. The next engine to test is right at the other end of the spectrum. It's a very small Stuart S50. The compressor's running in the background to pump up the air to 8 bar, because as you've just seen, I completely exhausted the tank. From a completely empty tank to 8 bar took just over 6 minutes, so the two compressors work quite well, that's not a lot of time. 
After oiling all of the working parts, including a little bit too much oil in the cylinder, the test begins. I don't think my lifespan's quite long enough to run the engine at this speed and see how long it took to drain the 50 litre compressor tank. The engine is making a bit of a funny noise which is due to having too much oil in the steam chest and in the cylinder. An S50 cylinder is 5 eighths of an inch in diameter and the stroke is one and a quarter inches. The only thing at the moment I can fault this compressor on is the fact that the air regulator makes a squeaking noise when you turn it. This would not normally be a problem, it's only a problem if you make videos. And here we go, an S50 at warp speed. Because of the physical size of this engine, I'm not going to exhaust the tank entirely. And that noise is the sound that the compressor makes when the compressors both switch back on again. The results for this test, to take the compressor from 8 bar down to 6 bar, took 7 minutes and 55 seconds. I'm going to try a little bit of oil on the regulator to see if it stops squeaking. Having done that, I wiped away the surplus and I'm hoping that the oil will find its way into the part of the valve that is squeaking. Purely by chance, the engine was just in the right position to start once I admitted the air to it. That's it for this episode. The compressor works beautifully. It's everything that I want it to be. All that remains is for me to say, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.